Here in Seattle, we have a goal of zero traffic fatalities by 2030. Uh, it's called Vision Zero. And so we really want to make sure of doing everything we can to keep our neighbors safe. And a place like Rainier Avenue throughout South Seattle is our, one of our highest crash, highest injury streets. There's no other street in the city of Seattle that has had more collisions than Rainier Avenue. It's just so important that we keep uh, our streets and our young people and our elders safe. Uh, and here, especially on the south end. We started to research the death, the injuries, and it was a very, very large number. Uh, that number was 1,236 collisions over a three-year period. There was over 600 injuries. There was three deaths within that three years time frame. One of the things that we look at um, for Rainier Valley Greenways that we're so appreciative of is the advocacy role that they play. So from talking with family members, going to hospitals, seeing people uh, injured uh, from Rainier Avenue, it has been it has been very horrific. And so it was just time to get something done. Enough was enough. We know that this area is um, um, has a high concentration of people of color. So we know that it can be difficult for people to come out late at night to a community meeting. And so we decided to have different meetings. We would go to, we got in touch, we started to contact different leaders, different people in the community. We went to churches, we knocked on doors, we'd ask a person, a resident, what issue, what, what street in your community is having problems? We do that week after week after week and eventually we had hundreds of people that had given, their, given us their input on the problem that they were having. When we looked at this project, we saw there were, um, people were speeding along the corridor, so we wanted to make um, big changes on this road. Um, we wanted to slow people down by um, changing the way that the road looks and feels. So at an intersection like this, you know, we'll be adding crosswalks, we'll be putting in a traffic signal. All along the corridor, we've changed signal timing to prioritize pedestrians and people walking and rolling. When the speed limit was reduced down to 20 miles per hour, statistics show that the reduction of collisions went down 40%. That was a big thing. We have to look at it in a holistic way. So we don't really separate transportation from public safety, from the arts, from economic development, because we understand that all of that uh, is connected. So I am happy to be here to be able to support uh, this, this initiative and other initiatives and to catch up with some old friends. <laughs> <laughs> Advocacy does work, hard work. I mean, it's been a long road, it's been a long time, but again, today we can say that some of the improvements have been met. So I want to thank uh, Seattle Neighborhood Greenways. We've had so much support and so much really important advocacy from this organization to help keep everybody in Seattle safe and to commit to pedestrian and bike infrastructure that can keep our neighborhoods thriving and keep people moving safely across the city. And it just feels good to be able to stand on fresh uh, concrete, you know, because this project just got done. I just want to say thank you to, you know, to the residents, to the organizers, to everyone that has played a part in Rainer Avenue, the fixing of Rainer Avenue. Thank you.